Praise the Lord, my brothers and sisters. This is Sister Chitty coming. Let's say a short word of prayer before we start. I thank you, Lord, for this day. I thank you for your grace. I thank you for your mercy. And I thank you for loving me. I thank you for all that you have shown me. And I give you praise. I give you thanks. And I give you glory. Um, this is going to be a short video, but there is a lot the Lord want me to say. And my lesson will be taken from 2 Samuel 13. And I would like everyone to read that scripture. It has to do with the son of King David, Ammon, that raped his sister Tamar. Now, when I was reading the scripture, the Lord begins to talk to me. And there was a strong sentence that the Lord gave unto me. And the sentence the Lord gave unto me, he said, Judy, I cannot be raped. And as the Lord began to talk to me about he cannot be raped, he was putting in my spirit the season and the time that we are in. And we are in a time where there is a set of people come together that the enemy is using and think they can rape. God people. God said it cannot be so because God said I have given this time period, this timeline unto human, not unto the devil. So when we look and we see all the countries come together except for the United States of America to usher in what is called the mark of the beast, the Lord said I cannot be raped. And because I did not give this time unto the enemy, I will not allow the enemy to take this time. Now, I want you all to know that when God is speaking, we need to do what God is telling us to do. And as the Lord began to talk to me about people that come together, he also showed me the story of Nimrod in Genesis. And when you watch the movie of Nimrod, you can see when Nimrod think he had the whole world under his arm. But there was something that Nimrod did when he took the bow and arrow and he shoot it up in the air. And God said, it is time to pay Nimrod a visit. And there are people think they can show the dust to stop the sun and to do what they want to capture God. But God said, I'm coming to pay Nimrod a visit. And I'm telling you that God is going to visit Nimrod. The spirit of Nimrod must be stopped. You cannot capture this time. It does not belong to your people. God said, I have given my people time and I did a video where I talk about when the bride was stripped. And as the Lord began to talk to me also about that, he allowed me to understand when someone is stripped. Let's go to when we look at the athlete running track. They must get the medal before they can be stripped of it. So when God showed me the bride of the United States and showed me that he was going to strip them, strip the bride, I know that they had to have it in their hand. This is not no timeline in. This is not for you to think it's going to happen on your timing. God, if God said, I'm going to strip, that means they must get the position that they are in. And then God will do the stripping. This is what I want people to know. And also God want people to know the prophets as stand up with me and I know what you have said and I've seen your prayer now that I've reached into the prayer room in heaven and the angels of God the 12 elders the 24 elders are holding your prayers and because of the prayer that have come out from the United States of America it's now make a flag so when you go into the prayer room in heaven you see it. So people, what God is trying to say, you don't have to try to beat up yourself. What God said will come true. I could say more here,
but I'm just going to leave it here. If God said it, it must be so. Before one of God's word pass, heaven and earth would pass away. We don't have to go ahead beating up ourselves like the Baal prophet calling out. God cannot be raped. Everything will be done on his timing. You can't take it before his time when he is going to give it up. So this is, what I, this is all I have to say this day. This is Sister Judy. God bless you all. And I seal this word with the ring of Yeshua HaMashiach. I seal it in the blood of the Lamb. God bless you all. Love Ministry.